Welcome back. This is King David, David Glass Music Beat Class .com, and this is the how to mix using FL Studio tutorial. Now, what we're going to do is go to uh, another track that we have, and there is a theme in there that sounds like this. Now, what we did is we sent that through effect number 12. We put our lead and our strings to effect number 12. It's the same melody, but what I'm hearing is I hear a difference in the length of the notes, so I'm going to fix that right now. I want this to match my strings. I want my lead to match my strings, so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to stretch out my notes, and that should fix it. Let's play it back. Alright, that should be longer. What I'm doing, just listening. And I want to make sure that I am... Set it to none, so I can move it to where I want. Play back. Perfect. Alright, so we're on effect channel 12. On that channel what I want to do is definitely put an EQ on it. We're going to put a string EQ on it, Fruity 7 band. Remember we don't always have to use the Fruity 7 band EQ. And this is a string. String subtle. I want to go with a string high or synth. Let's go with a synth. This is the preset that I created and it brings out specific frequencies in that particular instrument. Alright, let's play back. Let's take off the EQ. Alright. So that you can really hear the difference, I'm going to up the highs. Can you really hear it? Okay, good. Alright, now let's add our kick. Let's bring up our volume. is getting a little bit peaked out so we're going to fix that a little bit later uh, we're going to move on now now that we have those two parts EQ'd and ran through their own effects we're going to move on to um, some of the samples like the grunts and then we're going to do the theme all right it's your boy King David beatclass.com how to mix using Fruity Loops Studio FL Studio check us out one love